On everybody, we're doing a little update uh, from different sports for this weekend. Of course, it's a busy Monday morning like it is for everybody. So let's talk about the good first. The good would be the football games. The, the football games were pretty predictive this weekend. Uh, we had we had Tampa Bay winning, um, especially, yeah, they were winning in both scenarios. Uh, we got the point projections almost exactly right, and of course, Tampa Bay wins and covers 163, so that's good. Buffalo and Kansas City, they did hit the over as as we thought they were going to do. Um, but I don't know what happened in this game. It was like 9 nothing Buffalo, and then all of a sudden it was 21-9 Kansas City. I missed it. It's like you had a sip of a beer, and the next thing you know, it was a 21-point game. And I, I, Kansas City just exploded, so at least you hit the over. Um, we thought it would be a closer game than this, but it, it, at least it did put up a lot of points. So that was good. So that's the good. Now let's talk about the bad. The bad would be the basketball day yesterday. Um, one of these days, we have these days every couple weeks. Uh, terrible day, 10 and 14, 7 17 on the spread. Won some stuff up top, but man, not much. Um, I mean, look at these strings of losses. Tons of home team losses today. That's probably what caused the problem. Uh, our home teams go 5 and 10, and we lose somehow 9 out of the bottom 10. That is really abnormal. There wasn't a lot in the operating strength or anything here that that showed any any reason for this to happen. It's just just a bad Sunday. I mean, it happens, you know. So, uh, I'm not going to change around the home bump, but I mean, if we changed it a little bit, I mean, there's a lot of percentages here under 4 or 5, so it was trying to move more home teams up and you can see the away teams we're winning. It's like tsh, these away teams win. This one loses. This loses. Man, everything. It's an amazingly bad day. It just just chalk it up. To, it just happens sometimes. So let's talk about today. Not don't assume that you're gonna have a bad day today, just like you had yesterday. Because we had a really good day on Saturday, like sixty something thirty, like very good. So it it varies, and we just had a bad run. It looks like yesterday. So let's talk about today. Smaller schedule, and. What do we have? Anything of interest? Well, here's number one. So look at this Oklahoma State team away against Iowa State, operating at only 59% health-wise. That means you do not take Oklahoma State in this game because something's wrong with their roster. If anything, you're going to take Iowa State, which is going to be an underdog, plus the points because they're at home. That That's what that's telling me. All this stuff up here, if you want to look at like a solid four or five teams that should probably win, Probably here. Watch out for Arizona operating only 86% against Arizona State. That's something to watch out for. And then Virginia at home against Syracuse, but also only operating at 90%. So that's a little scary. Uh, is there any, is there a pick of the day in here? We got an underdog Texas Tech away at 94% against West Virginia. That's too scary because they're not at 100%. Um, hmm. Uh, very very tough day. Very tough day. I. I don't like anything on here. I like Iowa because of this injury factor. I like Iowa State actually. I like I like the opposite with the algorithm saying, but the, it's not the opposite. But it's what it's saying. Watch out for Oklahoma State here. If anything to learn from this today, it's that Oklahoma State is is to be stayed away from. <laughs> That's what you're learning. Uh, this Arizona minus two. There's there are not any good lines, right? I mean, Texas Tech's a good team, but they're away at West Virginia, and they could potentially lose. So you could try to take them plus two, but this is going to be a very close game as the margin is showing. Uh, with a little bit more of a home bump, West Virginia would actually be favored here. So I, I just I don't see anything good today. I'm glad I'm in California and can't bet. There's nothing here. So I guess that's the update today. There will be more games. You want those those days with the big games, like 100 games and stuff like this, you know, where we had 93 games and, and go 52 and 41 on the spread. And that day, for example, uh, on this Saturday, and why it's good to sit around and wait for these big days in college basketball, is what I said was uh, I talked about the video on Saturday about the underdogs and how there were so many underdogs to choose from. The answer is there were 13 of them. And we went seven and six with those underdogs. Um, and the ones that lost apparently had some injuries maybe. So uh, this was really, really good. You look at some of these lines. I mean, you hit a 184, you hit a 170, you hit two, one th th two 135s, 105. So you would have made money um, definitely making straight bets on these 
on these teams and the ones at the top of the margin area didn't pan out so well, but a lot of these other ones did. And our, how did our home teams do here? Our home dogs went three and one. That's really good. So if you've done a four-team round robin with just the home dogs, you go three and one. So there, there's a lot of good things to look out for. Anyway, as for today, there's only one underdog, and it's Texas, Texas Tech, but their operating strength is not at 100%. And that's just enough to get me to be a little scared and to stay away. All right. Good luck, everybody. Have, a, uh, have an enjoyable, busy Monday. And may all your picks be winning.